I got next got started because I would basically go to these gyms to play pickup ball and occasionally I would come across a player who was just, you know, a solid player and I'd ask him, I'd say, man, hey man, who are you playing for? And a lot of these guys, their answers would be the same. They're like, I'm not playing for anyone. They'd have a different excuse. They'd have a different story every time as to why they're not doing something greater. So I wanted to start an organization that would get these players off to that next level. Yeah, that's when I started I Got Next. To those of y'all that don't know, now you know, I Got Next is a certified nonprofit organization. And what does that mean? It means just that. We don't profit. Where the contract at? I got them right here. Anything, 1500 a month. Anything less than 1500 a month, I'm walking out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> that's like you was on all these. Last I want to play it. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting will not be tolerated at all. If a player goes after another individual first, that player will be suspended indefinitely. So you said throw the punch first. Mm -hmm. now, first. now what if he swing, but I hit him first? You defend him. That's, 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 that's a risk. We get to jump in and help him? No, you can't jump in. We can't in. jump in? No. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. We don't, don't do like that one. We don't do one from. Let me go back and add that to this contract. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> God, <exactly. laughs> I'm going to start off. We're a team. We're a team. That's what we need. All right. Yeah. Get your ass out of here. Was, <laughs> a lot of our guys join because it's a chance, an opportunity to build your resume. They don't have film out there. And to go play at the next level, you need something to show. You need something to take, you know, to these coaches. They want to know how you play under pressure, under a whistle, you know, organized ball. Anyone can go out and play recreational. But how do you deal with being fouled? How do you deal with somebody in your face and you're the only one who can take the shot? All right, so who wants to go first? Basketball has always been a huge part of my life, even though I haven't always been great. You know, believe it or not, I, I did used to suck big time. My older brother, he, uh, he's actually the person that I learned a lot from. He would encourage me, he would influence me to continue to play hard. He was the one who would pump me up. You know, when I didn't think I could play with these older kids, he would still pick me up to be on his team. You know, you hear these stories about big brothers, you know, and they got, they got little brothers and then they're like, nah, I don't wanna play with you, go home. My older brother wasn't like that. My older brother was like, I want him. He's gonna play with me. That alone helped me to get better. You get better by playing against individuals who are older, who are wiser, who are better than you. You know, and this is something that helped me go to the next level. All right, so we made it back to Chow, eating, you know, y'all seen what we had. This is where I sleep at, man. I'm gonna show y'all where I sleep at. I graduated high school and I did the military route. I see this right here. <laughs> I sleep right there. Y'all must think this is MTV Cribs or something. This ain't MTV Cribs. I did do a tour in Iraq. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to complete the full term. I did have a pretty bad injury that kind of forced me out of the military and I was, you know, I was really down and out about having a discharge for those medical reasons, but um, you know, it gave me something else to look forward to. When we started doing this, I figured I would just put my all into this organization. There's players who have graduated high school and they're not doing nothing and they are able to go do this. I definitely enjoy helping these players get to the next level since I wasn't able to do it. The importance of teamwork that I feel is building your co-player up. It's supposed to be a player saying, well, just let me kind of take over. 
you see that he's not doing too good, then you step in, you take over. We leaving people wide open. We guys, we got community, we got to talk. Ain't no one talking. Feet are slow. By the end of this half, they should want to go home. Good pressure, good pressure. Yes, sir. Teamwork is not just on the court. Teamwork is also off the court. Community outreaches are very important to us. It's a big part of why I wanted to start the organization. Outside of being a semi-professional basketball team, we also bring awareness to situations in the community. We did a Feed the Homeless. We also did a toy drive for the kids, for families that were less fortunate. It made us feel great. These are just things that I take pride in. I got next. Bye, everybody. You can't be a great player on the court, but then you come out here to the community and then you're not helping us with the breast cancer tournaments. You're not helping us with the Feed the Homeless. You're not helping us with the toy drives or any youth organizations that we would help train. You can't be great here and not great here. It's either you are or you're not. community sees uh, what we're doing as far as the community outreaches and then they come out to the games, they bring their families to the game and they have a good time just seeing the, the kids, you know, smile during halftime and, you know, really enjoy themselves. These things let us know that what we're doing is working and we're going to continue to do it. Teamwork makes dream work. Always. <laughs>